A change order request is used to track requests for changes to the original contract between the general contractor and the project owner. A change order request typically links multiple potential change orders that have been previously created and approved. To access change order requests from your project main screen, click on the Budget and Cost Management tab in the left panel. Then, under the Change Management submenu, select Change Order Requests. The Change Order Request main page will open, showing all of the current change order requests on your project. You can sort or group the CORs. And if that is the organization that you want, you can save it as a default. Use the Search and Filter panel on the right to locate and display only the change order requests that you want to see. To open a change order request, click on its tile. Clicking on a change order request tile will open its detail page, where you can see a summary of time and money in the upper panel. The two potential change orders that make up the change order request are listed below and you can click on the blue arrow in a PCO line to open and view the details of that PCO. If the status is approved, a red banner would denote that the record details are locked and cannot be edited. If the status is pending or ready for review, as in this case, you are able to edit the details. Finally, you can view any comments, contacts, and the history of the change order request using the tabs in the header. To return to the change order request main page, click Done. Back on the change order requests main page, to create a new change order request, click on the plus button in the upper right. The Create Change Order Request window will open, where the number may default depending on your configuration and if not, you'll have to enter it. The initiated date will autofill with today's date, but that can be changed. Enter a description and click Create. You will go to the Change Order Request Details page where you can add as much additional information as needed. First, in the right panel, select a category. Click Add in the main panel, which will open the Potential Change Order search window, where you can locate and select the PCOs that you want to be part of the change order request. Note that only approved budget amounts will carry over to the change order request. When you have chosen your PCOs, click Select to add them to the change order request. The potential change orders will be added as line items to the change order request. The proposed and approved budget amounts automatically carry over to the summary. You'll want to enter the requested days based on the information in the PCOs. Enter a more detailed description in the Notes field. Assign the change order request most likely to a reviewer and approver, and designate a due date. You can adjust the status, in this case ready for review. When you have reviewed your selections and entries, click Save and Done to create the change order request. Returning to the change order request main page, you can see the newly created change order request Display it as a tile on the page. The assigned reviewer approver will receive an email with a link to the change order request where the numbers can be reviewed and approval or rejection indicated. The author of the change order request can then change the status to approved or rejected as appropriate, adding comments or links as necessary.